Okay, so this will be the second question from paper one of the sample IB exam. So a single piece of wire has been bent to form the perimeter of a square with side length of two centimeters, and the wire straightened out and then bent again to form an arc of a circle of radius of four centimeters. And the wire just forms the arc, not the radii. We wanna calculate the angle in radians that the arc subtends at the center of the circle. So, okay, so couple things here. Um, I'm gonna, well, let's, let's, let's uh, think about what we have here first. So we've got right a square. I'm not gonna make the line straight. I'm not gonna waste time. But right, all of these are two centimeters, two centimeters. So eventually, right, we're gonna have a, a, a wire that's eight centimeters long, right? If we add all of those up, two centimeters plus two centimeters plus two centimeters plus two centimeters. So we've got this wire that's uh, eight centimeters long. So the formula that you need to remember in this case is the following. So here I've got a circle and I've got, um, if you know a, a, a length along the perimeter of the circle and you know the radius of the circle, then you can find the angle theta by using the formula that I have here. It says the length is gonna equal r times the, so the length is gonna equal the radius times the measure of that angle. So if you know this formula, this one should be hopefully pretty straightforward. So let me see if I can draw a little circle here real quick. There we go. So let's pretend that this has a radius of, whoops, Let's pretend that this has a radius of four centimeters. And the this, this length of wire, right? Let's pretend the wire is in, in red. This length of wire is eight centimeters. So it goes around the circle. And what we're trying to find in this case is, again, we're trying to find this angle theta. So all we have to do in this case, so again, we know that this, this length is eight centimeters. So there's my wire again that I've stretched around the, the perimeter of my circle. All we have to do is just simply use this formula. So I'm gonna fill that in. So we know that the length is eight centimeters. We know that the radius is four centimeters. And then the thing that's missing, right, is simply theta. So all we have to do is multiply by theta. Well, it's just a matter of dividing both sides by four, right? Divide by four, divide by four. And if we divide both sides by four, we'll get two on the left, and we'll be left with theta on the right. So our answer is gonna be two radians. That's gonna be the measure of the angle. So nothing crazy, um, but again, if you don't know this formula, you know, uh, I, I, as I said in the previous video, a lot of math is just knowing all the formulas. But if you know this formula, I think this one hopefully shouldn't be too bad.